but I thought they fixed that, but maybe I'm Oh, wrong. she's smoking herself, guys. Double hits. Cheers. What? <laughs> it actually looks like you're making that noise with your bong. <laughs> yeah, on the fucking on the video, it looked like you were doing that. Cheers to that hype train, y'all. Oh, the hype train isn't done yet, guys. You still got seventy <laughs> percent. You got a minute to get there, guys. Don't you want those free emotes? Fucking hooker. Honey, put those glorious, luscious, wonderful mammary glands away. How dare you use those to make money? It's like, you're not even... You gonna fuck on me? No, I'm gonna your fuck fans. on you! And it should be only about the fans. You know what I'm saying? It's terrible. I mean, some of us beg and some of us just use our gifts. <laughs> Decca Bear, thank you so much for gifting us up with my channel, Honey Bean. Mm -hmm. I love that email combo. It's one of my new faves. I got well, two that was words not kind. for you. Oh, what? what emo? Oh, that's 300. Oh, Guys, you know hey. what you want to be donating with is 333 bits. Three, three, three. Rule of threes nope, for the goners. It's too late. It's too late. Come nope. on. Give nope. me a three, three, three. Nice. Too late. Didn't get there. Nice. Nice. Hype train done. Nice. No need to give me more money. I mean, you money. can definitely still do it, though. I'm just saying. Like, it's a worthy gift. Uh. Thank you so much for the hype train, y'all. You fucking weird. That's a second hype train in one day. I appreciate you. Is the burp pretty bad? That's my favorite. Thank you. Sure it is. <laughs> that how much I love Brock Lesnar. Mm -hmm. That's not even me. Uh, I want to. Yeah, I have no this. idea what I'm for. No idea where you're where you're going with this. It's gonna be really cool. The more I get into it, the more I get ideas. And it's gonna be really cool. Jack Mercer. You two Same are hilarious. Thanks for saving my shitty day. We're not asshole. here to fucking entertain you, Jack Mercer. We're not here to make your shitty day any better. So you can just keep that shit to yourself. And then, of course, short attention span theater over here is like, what are we talking about? I'm going to make noises. Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> There's so much pressure off because I don't have to be attacked on anything. Not nice. You know what I do early? One of my ideas, though, you guys, that I want to turn him into, I really want to make him the white orc from um, The Hobbit. The one that's not the in the book. Yeah, the one that's not in the book, so they just added. I would oh, like from to the make Hobbit? Him that. Yeah, from The Hobbit. The white oh. guy with the missing arm. Okay. I kind of watched those movies once and forgot about them. Oh, I like that. See, I don't. It's, is it not like the book? No, no, it's nothing to do with that. Thank God. Has everything to do with it. It's actually worse. Oh. It's not like the cartoon, and the cartoon oh, was perfect. Oh, okay. Well, you can't compare that to anything that was art. I know. You can't. I mean, nothing's gonna outdo animation. Same I subject think. matter, but like. I agree with you. No, nothing's gonna outdo animation. Animation, there's in the voice acting back then, and that animation style. It's the same that's in like, um, you know, my favorite, The Last Movie. It's. Uh, like painting, the animation is a painting, and the voice acting in it, and that like veneration of of the Hobbit was exactly what I pictured in my mind. Reading the book, like that's how I pictured hobbits. I pictured him older because in the book, right? You know, I read it when I was really young, and when you say fifty when you're young, you're like, oh my god, they're dying. So no, it I'm exact. I but... agree with you, boy fruit. Animation yeah, when... is for little babies. <gasps> It's for little babies and like 10 ply girls and guys out there. Super soft. It's just, come on, figure it out. Wah, wah, wah. David's an animator. I love that. I know that. 
Boyfruit is amazing. Boyfruit is incredible. He also has really good music taste. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to show you what he's been sending me lately. It's like a mix of like Ghost and Queens of the Stone Age, but like better, less poppy. It's really good shit. If only we could share music on stream. I'll have to put him in the. <laughs> you got a problem with the animation? You got a problem with me? And I said, just you let that one marinate. Oh, oh, better patter. Hit her patter. Let's get at her. Not my forte. Why is the stream named Holes? Because I'm all about inclusivity and everyone has at least one hole. Oh, City, thank you so much for two months in a row. I love these streams with Zeke, too. I'm so comfortable with him on stream. It's very fun. It's like we get to hang out with our friends together. Like, this is our social day. It's, what's up with you guys? How are the kids? I don't care how your kids are. Fuck you, Katie. Tell your mom to stop liking my posts of me in shorts in Puerto Vallarta. I'll do that anytime she wants. Fuck you, Zeke. Tell your mom to fill out my gas card so we can go to Wendy's on Wednesdays. We're paraphrasing. The words they choose for those insults are very precise. And they're hard to imitate. Dude, the dialogue of that show is fucking impressive. <coughs> what I think, Calm, in my dude. opinion, Calm. the two dumbass, like, skater bros have the hardest dialogue in the whole show. And they fucking show up for it, man. Sk you mean hockey bros? The hockey bros, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Ripping big curls, bro. Mm hmm Ripping uh, head-on bench backward stappy curls. Burpees all day, every day, brother. Forda. Yeah, Forda. Berta, Forda. <laughs> Forza. Berta. Berta. Oh, they're, they're still making that? I thought they were done making Letter Kenny. I didn't know they were having a new season. Thank you, Mike, still. Riley and Jonesy are the damn cutest. Right, Sarah? Like, we watched the special stuff after we finished the whole show of them, like, talking about how they put the show together and how they're actually, like, real hockey players. But they're, I think, personally... Their dialogue they have, because we're rewatching it right now just for funsies, is the yeah. hardest in the whole show. Like, their quick back and forth about their exercises and that fucking, like, hockey speak. God. The, the, the scripting in that show is, like, deceptively Aaron Sorkin-like quipping back and forth super fast. Yeah. And that shit's not easy, man. The cue pickup's got to be exactly right. You got to be in tune with the other pre the other people you're in the scene with, like. And they have to keep a serious face the whole time. When it fucking comes, like when they pull it off, when it's it it's like West Wing oh. shit. It's it's awesome. To fucking be embarrassing. <laughs> We're talking about Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. It's on Hulu yeah. right now. It's about a it's it's a Canadian, uh, or it's a series with Canadians, but it's about being from a small town in Canada. It's great. You should definitely watch it. It's on Hulu. It started out on Netflix. Or, I mean, on um, YouTube. YouTube. So you yeah. can see a ton of it on YouTube. No, Zeke has not joined us on the movie marathon, although he did watch Bad Santa with me. And you enjoyed it? Yeah. 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 Did you, do you still think it was a romance? Or did you remember it correctly? Or was it just no, the I shit was, with Fuck I, Me Santa that threw you off? It was, uh, it was less than I remembered. Yeah. It was, it's more of a a sad take on one man's life than it is that it was like a, a romantic story but I, that always sticks out to me so like you know after a time of not watching it that's the thing i remember about uh -huh. it. like i think they shoehorned in a romance that i didn't care for so i blew it up in my my mind no for real i get that when he told me he thought he and he didn't even like he, i wanted to watch it and he's like yeah we can watch it and i was like why do you not like it he goes well it's like a romance i'm just not into those movies i'm like me either. Romance what? No, it's not a romance. It's a, a love story. Love story. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And I was like, maybe between him and the fat little boy, I <laughs> guess. Or like Nano. That's with creepy the to think about, but not far from the truth. Well, not romantic. Also, love. VA Gamer Girl, please don't call my girlfriend a hoe. <gasps> please. That's I my mean, job. We're all hoes here. We hoe it up. No, no shame. She, but she does want to know what you're doing. Oh, are you doing? I am. Have cramps. Oh, has cramps. Oh, has cramps. She's gonna be a hoe down. <laughs> hoe down. I'm gonna be a hoe down after this. I'm thinking a milkshake or cold milk. I feel like Zeke and CK are the super cool uncle and auntie you visit as a kid, but your parents are like, don't touch anything in the house, try to stop from going. 
Just ask Scott Evans. Ask the Mr. Scott Evans what he thinks about us. We get to hang out with his kids. Yeah. He loves it. We're his favorite visitors, I'm pretty positive. Oh, nice backpedal, gamer girl. I meant how, not ho. Yeah. Right. You can call sure. me a ho. Yeah. Don't be. Yeah. I mean, her, like, Andrew calls her a ho all the time. In fact, he calls her, like, really colorful names, which In bed, speaks, speaks to a familiarity that I don't think I've fully un- unraveled yet. I mean, Andrew and I are, like, friends where I could pop a cyst inside his butthole and there would be zero shame between us, you know? Like, I'm that friend to call. And I would call him to pop something inside my vagina so he didn't think I cheated on me or something. Not that would ever happen. I'm just saying, like, if. Right? I, uh, I have a question for you, Andrew. Are you a, are you a fashionable bloke? Like, are you a clothes horse? Does that, that stuff matter to you? I'm, I'm just curious. I only have your pictures, like, uh, like the, you know, handful of pictures I've seen of you so often. Mm-hmm. Someone's got to get it, right? And you need that friend that's, like, not squeamish. Although he doesn't like blood, but, like, pus doesn't freak him out yet. Although for working in a ambulance vehicle or emergency vehicle, not being liking blood is... How is that blood fear going, Andrew? Uh, Robuscus, we don't know yet. The only person that knows what Katie is doing today is Katie. She hasn't told anybody, including me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Since I started, it's changed four times, and it's evolving into something way cooler than my original idea. So this is why I like to do, like, I call it intuitive art. I do it with drawing, too. You just start putting lines down and find lines you like and then start building on it until you get more and more ideas. Things, my art always ends up way cooler this way, I think, if I don't have a goal. Because if I have a goal, I kind of stress about it, and I'm too much of a perfectionist to enjoy the process. Gonna guess a male domino. You gonna fuck on me? Nobody's gonna fuck on you. Domino from Deadpool. Oh God, no! How boring. Well, also she's black, and I don't want to risk blackface accusations on my channel. Yeah, we save that for she. We save that for off stream. Um, no, I I thought like when she started doing it around the eye, I was like, hmm, a lot of different things went through my head. But she's starting to put like cotton balls and stuff in there, so. There's going to be some contour to whatever she's doing, so it's not Domino. One time on myself, <laughs> I made it look like I was an autopsy patient, and I built a heart and that all the vessels crazy. out of a cotton ball, out of, like, cotton balls and layers of latex. It was incredible. It was so much. It's okay. honestly still my favorite way to build things. You enjoy looking good. Uh, kind of bad at following trends, but I have a knack for knowing what looks good. Okay. He's very, I was going to say that. He's very trendy, but I wouldn't say he's, like, obsessed with trends. Like, he just always looks nice and put together. Yeah. Well, I I, I do ask Andrew because I <gasps> God, I, I, didn't, I no longer have any theater friends to go to as far as, like, to tell me what looks good on me. Because I had a few when I lived in Montana and Billings. I'd go, like, shopping with them. I'd, I'd ask them to go with me. And no offense, Katie, but... Why would I be offended? You're not, like, a... Fashionista. Oh, God, no. I would never claim to be. So I'm looking for someone to help me out with that. When we can leave the house again, of course. I'm like, do you want some more sweats? Hey! Papa Bear! What the fuck is up, dude? 13 months? I'll talk to that. Dude, how is your grow? How does it taste? Didn't see a tweet this was happening. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh! <gasps> I forgot to take it out. My bad, I'm terrible. Um, if you want to give me your phone, I'll take a picture of what I've done so far to tease. Fashion is fleeting styles forever. I agree, David. Fashion I've never been into fast what I call fast fashion. I've never liked it. I like classic pieces that last forever because they just look good on your body. Yeah. Oh, there's one of them. Where's the black one? Oh, on the linoleum. Oh, he loves linoleum. That's why he gets scared when people knock on the door. Because he's right there. He scares the poop out of him. You've been in the, on the cool linoleum. Yeah. His eyes are <laughs> stunning. My God. In this light. God.
Oh, and I can get a good look at it. Okay, okay. The puppies are doing wonderful. Thank you for asking, Sarah. <gasps> Little sister Sarah, if you're still here, the pups got snipped yesterday. They're doing good, though. <gasps> Nate, bitch, how did you, how have you known me this long and you didn't know I did this shit? Come on. Oh, Bundarian. Katie, I love how you look at the world. I hope you're having a good, oh. Thank you. I try to stay open. It's very nice facial features. Good bone structure. Oh, <gasps> kill, shut up. You should just get her like some old like a phonopelma chalcodes or calcodes. You can get those for cheap and it'll live like 20 years and never do anything. Hail Satan! Hail Hail Satan! Satan! No, we didn't do any tree or anything. Mm -mm. No point. Like, what's the point? Aw, cake, thank you. I've I was telling people what I've been doing um since I haven't had my hair cut in almost a year is um every other week. I will wash my hair on my day off and then I put all sorts of like really healthy hair oils in it and I put it up in like what I call protective hairstyles, braids, buns, something like that. And I just keep it that way for like a week and I just let it like get nice and moisturized just on the ends. I'm not like massaging oil into my scalp or anything like that, but this is the week. Helps my hair though. This is bleached. Yep. Because it's fun and they're pretty, exactly. No. My four-year-old daughter asked me to get a spider for her room. Kill has spiders, too. Oh, right on. Yeah. I thought it was just from watching the stream. Well, Kill got him from watching my stream, and then the daughter, mm. probably. Because I don't think he lets his kids watch this trash. <laughs> Zeke, we need to find a clothes store. Like, big and tall clothes store, but for you. Is there a fat and stupid clothes store? <laughs> Well, Sarah, so here's... <laughs> That's one of your better ones, dude. I'll give it to you for that. that was one yeah, of it's ones. called Hot Topic. So I've got this plant back here. <laughs> it's like Are a... you saying I'm a skid? You were. Honey, you still wear a pocket chain. I was a skid. I don't... Uh, that's... Yeah, you still wear a pocket chain. Yeah, you know why? Robberies? Yep, because I travel. Or used to. I have a passport. That's, that's sure my belt loop. But it didn't hang out on my pants like a fucking... It wasn't like a... Um, uh, oh God! What was that? Like cherry pop and daddies? What was that style? Cherry pop. Cherry and pop daddies? daddies. Big bad voodoo daddy. The fucking swing, swing band. Like I wasn't like that. Like the big wallet chain. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. A zoot suit. Yeah, I wasn't a zoot suiter. The feast of the winter veil started today in Hearthstone. I reinstalled it after you mentioned it. Fussy. Did you add me? I'm classy, Kate. Oh, I have to tell you a number for it, huh? You want to find my Hearthstone on my? Fucking. If you DM me with your name and your number thing, I'll add you. No, my wallet chain is only like three, four inches long or something like that. It's honestly, it's long enough to attach to my belt loop and go right in my pocket. You can't even see it if I'm wearing a long t-shirt. He only wears it if he wears jeans, and he's worn jeans twice since I started dating him. I'm just giving him a hard time. Yep, and also, it's like, I don't wear jeans because there's nowhere to go. And why? Because we started living together right as the pandemic hit. I moved here with Eliza during. Yep, during the Colorado state lockdown. We had to quarantine. It was great. I missed my own 420. Well, it's 420 right now, but I don't it's have any weed right in now, it. Yeah. I don't have any weed in it. Cheers to this empty bowl, maybe? OGs are allowed pocket chains. Well, I'm just saying. Back when we were in school, if you wore baggy <laughs> pants and a pocket chain and black t-shirts, you were essentially a skid, whether or not you did meth. I was 100% a skid. Uh-oh. I was about to see that. No. Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, we've moved on from that. Okay. Cheers. Let's see if you have... Welcome to Hearthstone. What? I'll start brainstorming stuff, Zeke. Is there a certain way you were wanting to come off with how you dress? Um, I don't want you to change my everyday attire. Like, I like looking like, you know, hoodies, sweats, jeans, that kind of stuff. I want you to, to help me out with, like, 
gathering, like a gathering attire that's that's like not a suit or a tux or whatever. Like if you're going to like you know like a party with like you know your friends and stuff, but you want to look good, it, it's not super formal like that kind of stuff. Can I tell you what I want? I'm a lumber sexual, so I want him to look clean, but like maybe he works in the woods. Yeah, don't actually don't ask me. Ask her. Now She's I'm the one I care smell about. Smell like fresh pine. <laughs> well, that's not a fashion thing. I can just You're having a break. Break out. That's almost empty. Why am I drinking? Don't drink this one. Actually, there's nothing in it yet, but I would. <laughs> like a Superman flannel? No, no hard still in this. No, I haven't. I was thinking I haven't downloaded it on that since I got that phone. We used to have an alert in my channel, but we had to do our bot. So. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan. It doesn't have to be flannel, although he does look very nice in flannel. I just, I don't want him to look pretty. Does that make sense? Like, he's already pretty naturally. It's like putting, like. And you you know, know when Andrew, a really. You don't, have, you don't have to worry about it now. Just let you know. You know when a really, really pretty person puts makeup on and you're just like. Why'd you do that? It's like gilding the rose or something. Gilding the lily. Gilding the lily. I like roses better, but you know. You know what I mean? I got 420, Luna. Shush. I totally did it. You were here. <gasps> Gina. This is not working the way I wanted it to. We're going to move on to a new subject. Um, we're gonna go with these again. <laughs> Not that one, because I probably blew my nose in it. <laughs> Zeke's from Montana, right? Doesn't he grow flannel like body hair? <laughs> I mean, he has a lot of flannel for sure, but they yes. don't exactly go with the sweatpants. And it smells like sawdust. I really wish they had better great. leisure gear for men. I feel like you guys kind of get it's like basketball shorts or sweatpants, or overpriced sweatpants, also known as joggers. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to my channel. My name's Classic Katie, and this here is Ezekiel underscore I, I, I. You know, I should get a graphic to put on my channel. Just a little Ezekiel, just so people know that you're actually a streamer. If you want to. Okay, I won't pimp you out anymore. Um, Fuck this guy. She's saying that because she's she, like, brought it up before, like, how come when you come to my channel, like, my mods, like, and I... You know, put your channel out there. But when I come into your chat, you don't do that. I'm like, because I, I honestly, I don't think about it. I don't know. I did not say it like that. I'm pretty sure it was a really snarky. No, you said it like super you. bitchy. Like super terrible. snarky. Like you said something and I was like, kind of like how every time I show up in your stream, you fail to m mention that I'm a streamer girlfriend. And you were like, what? Yeah, you keep, a bitch you keep that up. I'm going to not let you hang out with the gays anymore. They're teaching you bad lessons. Andrew, help. <laughs> Eliza. <laughs> See what happens. I guess. I guess I deserve You deserve it. Aww. <laughs> Slaith will continue to teach you bad lessons. Thank you, Slaith. Slaith bought me safety goggles. He also got me a coffee cup that says, let's keep the dumb assery. Or the dumb fuckery. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. There are a lot of different species, fantasy-wise, or fiction-wise, with pointy ears, so it could go a lot of ways. I might be the world's first fat elf. <laughs> nah, I said next week is the only Christmas thing. I call, I said... No, I'm talking Christmas. about, like, elf, like, elvish, like, uh, uh, like, Tolkien elf. Oh, bless. Like that. Because there's no fat elves, like, in any of the fantasy movies I've ever seen. Elves are always slender and lithe. That is interesting. I wonder why. Yet Santa's elves genetic, are Genetic, I think. Fat. It's a genetic thing. But, like, why? Why would you evolve that way? Would that be good for your body? And your body? No, that's good for the dwarves who go down the depths when it's cold. They have that's fire. why they're fat. 
No, but evolutionarily, fire. like, that's probably why they get fat. Like bears. Bears can make fire. Our, our tree. Wow, Scott. And I just wrote my first kid's book, Zeke the Fat Elf. I like it. It better ha it better have a a charming and heartwarming lesson at the end of it, or I will not release my likeness rights. Uh oh. I mean, we're really tall and fat though. So what would we be? We're going by body. Honey, you're not fat. I'm not skinny. No, I wouldn't say that either. I'm not an elf. I wouldn't say you're fat. Okay, so what's the end for a tall bitch? Then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'd be a tall dwarf because dwarves aren't fat. Dwarves are stocky. They're, They're not like tall. Solid all the way through. No, I said you'd be a tall dwarf. So we get to change the height of trees. Yeah, it's we're talking about fictional made up things here, so. So there can be fat elves. Yeah. No one's arguing. You said, "What would I be?" That's oh. what I said. I said you'd be a tall dwarf. Thanks. You're like, uh, uh, what's her face in, in um, Deadpool 2 and uh, The Mandalorian? You know. You know her, right? Mandalorian, come on. She was like. Oh, does she even have a name? Yes, what's her name? I don't know her name in The Mandalorian. I thought she was just like eye candy. Cara Dune, thank you. Eye candy. Yeah. I am not like her. She's Zena. so strong, honey. I have bird arms. I can't even pretend I have that level of any level of honey muscle in my body. I have no musculature, honey. She's so red. We gotta find a way for you. She'd be insulted. I want to see because I bet you're stronger than you. My legs are strong, but my upper body. Hurt. Mm. Mm. I don't know. My sister has incredible arm muscles. She can do. I can maybe do five presses in the bar. You think your sister would beat you in an arm wrestling match? Ab 100%. Have really? You seen her back? Oh my God. I don't think so. Sarah does yoga every day and stands on her arms. But you're a force of will, though. Sarah would kick See, that's. My ass. But that's where Lucifer's power comes from. Not from being an angel, it's not from being like a son of God or like a from God. It's from hypothetically speaking powers. Those don't exist. Being the personification of will. Exactly. Thank you for the follow. You know, Scott, funny you asked that. So Zeke and I were talking the other day in bed. Zeke's never been in a fight. Nope. And I thought that was really interesting. I mean, I... I... In one, like... <sighs> I've broken up fights, so technically I've been in. He was a bouncer, like. But, I, yeah. You haven't gone up and socked a bitch in the face for being. I have never been into a fist fight, or a fight where we had malicious intent against each other. Yeah. Never. No, and I was telling her the, the reason why I brought it up because the other day because I was thinking about like, uh, Fight Club, like when he says you know, how do how much do you really know about yourself? You've never been in a fight. I'm like. That's true. Like, that's a, that's a, a like a super high adrenaline stressed out situation, and that would be very telling. How do you think you would react in a fight? And you can't say I don't know. Right. right. I think I'd probably fight until I till I or the other person was was hamburger. Because if I was fighting, it'd be for a good fucking reason. Wouldn't be just because he insulted me or my mom or something. <laughs> it would be like, I don't know. He tried, like he tried to finger you at a bar or something like that. I'd kill him before you even knew about it. And that's the other thing. I wouldn't have to do shit. I'd fucking murder him. I've been on the receiving end of a fight. Shut up, David. Have you really? Like someone came after you. Well, I, you know, Scott, I was just going to say that. I personally think you've never been in a fight because you can disarm people with your words much faster than your fists. You're, oh, like, yeah. witty like, and clever, and you can insult someone without them even knowing. The fact that I've got a pretty quick tongue and a pretty quick wit, but also the fact that I have no shame and no pride to, to fight for. Like, if you said the most raunchiest things about the people I care about dearest, dearest 
I don't give a 